of the bridges along the line have already been torn down, and the one spanning the Maitland River was slated for demolition in January of this year. But a group of concerned citizens, along with some members of council, managed to get a six-month extension. But that came with a price tag. Chairman of the group called Menacetung, Dr. Mike Dawson, says they've had to pay the salvage contractor $5,000 with a further $13,000 due by July 15th to cover his rights to the steel. Dawson says they want to save the bridge and create a walkway from the beach to Tiger Dunlop's tomb near Highway 21. Our first, first goal would be to make the bridge accessible and that would be by, um, by constructing a walkway between uh, the North Harbour Road and the bridge and we'd have to make the bridge accessible as well with, um, with a walkway and railing. The reason we're so interested in this is this uh, is already in, in existence. The, uh, the rail bed makes a perfect trail. The bridge is, uh, is quite, quite solid and all, all it needs is a, a walkway and railing on it to make it, uh, make it safe. Dawson says it's hard lot, to say how much the total project would cost because much of that depends on of, who owns the, the bridge. bridge. Uh, right now the interministerial committee of the province is, uh, is looking at, at the entire rail line between uh, Goddard and Guelph. If it's important enough to the province to want to purchase, uh, purchase the entire line, um, that would solve a lot of our, our concerns. Um, a walkway and railing on the bridge, I expect we could do it for about $40,000. Dawson says the bridge has been a landmark in Godrich since it was constructed in 1906, and it's a little piece of history they're determined to preserve. From Godrich, I'm Bob Montgomery, Insight News.